All right, so I'm not a I'm not a huge um, PowerPoint guy, but um, rendering, as everybody knows, takes a little bit of time. So showing live rendering, uh, we are going to do some live stuff here right in the software. So we'll take a look at that. But as far as showing live renderings, I do have some samples of renderings that I've done, and uh, we're going to go over what's changed, what's what's not changed. Right? I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised on. Uh, if you've worked with rendering before, how uh, similar everything is to the Luxology rendering engine. So we haven't changed really the internal workings of MicroStation all that much. Of course, uh, the rendering engine moving from Luxology to View, right? It kind of is kind of in the background for the user. So when you press the render button, you really don't see anything different uh, except for a rendering starting to to move along. Now it's a lot faster than the um, Luxology rendering engine. And um, as you can see, if you can see the picture that's on my screen right now, my first slide, that was actually done in view. You can see that quite the detail that we can get and the realism that we can get now with the view rendering engine. So let's, uh, let's continue with the slides. So things that are the same inside of microstation so uh, the way we uh, assign materials and where and how we attach materials is exactly the same uh Bentley still provides uh material palettes uh with um the install of microstation update 16 is the first one i think we had a technology preview in 15 of the view rendering engine uh, but in 16, the Luxology, in update 16, the Luxology rendering engine is out and the view rendering engine is in. Uh, as far as attaching and assigning materials, we still provide all of those materials. We've converted them over to uh, some new materials and we still provide those. And the way we assign them and attach them to elements inside of MicroStation is exactly the same. So we can assign, we can attach. Uh, material palettes are delivered with Bentley as always. So you still see the same material palettes that you have before. Uh, we have converted them over for you and you can still use your old materials too. So if you've got an extensive material library that you have used, there's no real conversion there. Uh, but I'll explain that a little bit later. You can still use your material palettes that you have used in previous microstation in the Luxology rendering engine. So we can still see those. Uh, creating materials is exactly the same. Uh, we can uh, create our own materials. So I can go out and take a picture of something. I can bring that into uh, MicroStation, uh, uh, create a material and assign that picture to that material and it will still do the same thing. Uh, I can still query materials inside of my MicroStation drawing. I can still adjust the material mapping. So if brick doesn't fall onto a side of a building quite properly, uh, or if the, um, expansion joints on a uh, freeway don't work quite right. Uh, I can adjust that material map just like I did in uh, V8. Uh, lighting is still the same. Uh, time, day, month, year, I can still set up my lighting. I can still physically position my sun in my model uh, the same exact way that I did in uh, V8. Setting the position of the model, if I want to choose uh, a uh, a site, uh, a, a coordinate system, a Google Earth bookmark, right, uh, to where my project is located, I can get the correct sun um, and uh, still set time, day, month, and year and set the position of the model in the correct location. That's all done exactly the same way. Uh, saving the images, I actually have a lot more freedom as far as saving JPEGs and saving images are concerned as far as the uh, rendering is concerned, but I can still save the images and I can actually go back through previous renderings that I have done. Uh, I will show that in the live demonstration as well. And uh, setting the camera, right? Uh, and that's uh, always one of the tougher things to do. Um, once you get the hang of it and setting the camera and setting the perspective, uh, but the, the camera setting is exactly the same as it was in V8. So um, I get the little circle in there, the little sphere in there, and I can grab the camera and move it around, or I can adjust it manually as well. 
So all that stuff is still the same. So just because we changed rendering in an engine, you're not going to be kind of out in the cold if you used rendering before. You're going to basically still do all of these things exactly the same way as we've done in V8i. Uh, there are some additional dialog boxes and some additional settings that I'll show you in the, in the live setting. Okay? So all that's the same. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.